Welcome to the second episode of Mario Party Origins, where we take a look at all the console and handheld Mario Party games in depth. And in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at the fan favorite, the sequel to Mario Party 1, Mario Party 2 on the N64. Yeah, it's literally the title of these games. Wait till we get to the later games. So this is a fan favorite one, and if you saw my ranking video, and oh my god, that's over 2,000 views, by the way. Uh, this is my personal favorite in the series. Even if it's on the N64, a lot of people don't like some N64s if they never grew up with them. I didn't grow up with this Mario Party, but I don't know. This is the one on the N64 I played the most, outside of 3, of course. But, has this one actually aged well? Time to find out. Also, this is going to be a little bit different. Instead of breaking up on, like, the last video, I will just talk about it in depth in a whole video. And I still have the points of the boards, minigames, content, etc. So, yeah. Without further ado, here we go. Now, I have already said this before that I am not breaking this up into multiple parts. I am going to be just talking all the way through and stuff. So, starting this off with the beginning, the plot of the game. Every Mario Party game has a plot. It's just, this, there's story modes in some of them, so I might as well just do it so I can go in depth with them. So, Mario in the game, while well, it's a play going on in the beginning of the game, I love the intro. Uh, Mario in the game, we're celebrating and all that stuff. Wario shows up and calls his own place instead of Mario Land to Wario Land, and then they start fighting. And then Peach wants to call the whole place Peach Land. I'm not calling it that for obvious reasons. And then Bowser shows up. And then it's up to Mario and the gang to see what's going on, and whoever wins, that's the the land they choose, I guess, basically. So yeah, the story isn't too deep, but honestly, I do have a lot of, I do love the intro, honestly, it's definitely one of the best in the series. Probably my favorite from what I remembered of the intro cutscenes. I think the intro cutscenes kind of stopped after, um, <laughs> after we, after 7, technically advanced and DS, I guess, but still. Um, but anyway, um... Yeah, that's the beginning of the game. Now, if we talk about the roster, unfortunately, the roster hasn't changed since the first game. It's the same six characters, but um, this is a trend where they add new characters. I'm not sure why they didn't add, like, at least two characters, but I don't know. I guess I have DK still in the game, so it's fine and all, but obviously, I would add more characters, so yeah. Alright, so what about the boards? Now, the naming of the boards is very lame, honestly. We have, we have boards like, um... <coughs> Uh, Pirate Land, Western Land, Space Land, Mystery Land, Her Land, and Bowser Land. The namings are a bit lazy, but honestly, I do like the boards, honestly. My personal favorite is Western Land. I do love the concept, and I really like the music. Space Land is also pretty good, too. Although my least favorite is probably um, Mystery Land, because I don't like the happening spaces, honestly, and that's one of the boards I lose the most, honestly. But regardless, I do love the board... I love the cost of the boards, and also a fun thing they added is every character uh, will always wear a specific costume on a certain board, except for the Bowser Land, and that's the only Mario Party game where characters actually wear costumes, and honestly, I want that feature back with other Mario Party games, it was such a cool idea, and it sucks that they haven't done that, outside of probably the mini games, they just take them off and stuff, but still, the characters wearing uh, different outfits in the boards, I love that concept, honestly, so yeah. But other than that, the boards are cool. Now, I will go in depth with the other content after making games fun. So, I will admit that everyone's gonna say in the comments that there is no Mario Party game with bad minigames. Well, wait till we get to the later games and I'll tell you my opinion on them. So, the minigames, Toe in the Box, um, Slot Car Derby, um, Destruction Duo, there's a lot of great free mini games. I always replay a lot. Toe in the Box is my one of my personal favorites, Shell Shocked. There's just some other ones. There's the Chance Games again, Day at the Races, and my favorite battle game, Facelift. There's so many mini games I can name that are my favorites, honestly. I just love them in this game, so yeah. We'll get to the later entries where we get to the better games, of course, so yeah. Um, so yeah, honestly, I don't need to go in depth with mini games. Honestly, they're definitely, in my opinion, probably the best in the N64 lineup. We'll talk about three, I, I promise. Um, so yeah, I don't think I need to talk about the mini games often. There's some weird ones like Toad, like the roll call game and stuff, but they're fine honestly. Um, what else we got? <clears throat> so, uh, other content. Now, th what did they add in this game? Well, the Bowser spaces and stuff. There are no Bowser. Wait, no, there's no Bowser mini games and stuff, unlike the other game. Well. From Mario Party 1, they don't have like those Bowser games where you have to win or something. 
But they added uh, items in the game, like you use them every turn and you get item spaces where you play mini games, or you can just buy them from the shop, of course, in the boards. Um, specifically ones like Golden Mushroom, the Magic Lamp, Dueling Glove, uh, the Boo Lamp, the Boo Bell. There's a bunch of items in the game that you can get in the game. And certain computer players, a fun fact, certain computer players will actually usually get their own items. Mario gets the mushrooms, Luigi gets the get the skeleton key, Peach gets the plunger chest, Yoshi gets the warp block, Wario gets the dueling glove, and DK gets the Bowser stuff. It's usually like that, and I kind of like that. I learned that from the runway guys, by the way. So yeah. And there's also obviously some side modes as well. Um, you have the you have a mode where you play free for all mini games. It won't be three mini games. You have you have a mode where you can set your record. The mini game island is also back from Mario Party One. Personally, I think this version is harder than Mario Party One, but I like it. It's pretty good. It sucks that it took it till oh god, we'll talk about that. It took until that game to bring back Minigame Island, <laughs> so yeah. Um, anything else? The dual minigames are cool, by the way, I didn't talk about that. They're not like Mario Party's 3 through... 3 through 8, I guess, where it's like, different. Actual Free For All, it happens usually on the boards, but they're pretty cool. It is mostly betting for coins instead of stars, so yeah. It's definitely, they're definitely better in this game, even if I'm not good at them. Um, anything else I haven't talked about? Oh yeah, I guess the music. Well, I'm not gonna bring up music because I feel like every mo I think we can all agree every Mario Party game has good music in some way, so... Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about music anyway, so yeah. So yeah, my conclusion. Is this the best Mario Party game in the series? Personally, in my opinion, yes. This is my personal favorite in the series. Even if it's just an N64 game, there are a lot of N64 games you probably wouldn't like, like Mario 64, there's some games that you think they wouldn't age the best, but I feel like this and Mario Party 3 have aged well, and I personally think Paper Mario 64, you know me, Paper Mario 64 is my favorite Nintendo 64 game of all time. So really, I enjoy Mario Party 2, it's definitely one of the best in the series. Please give this a shot, well, you kinda can't right now, but give it a shot. It's on the Wii U Virtual Console. Um, I think that's it because the Wii Virtual Console is closed. But yeah, that's it for Mario Party 2. Definitely my favorite in the series. So yeah. Um, join me back here next time for episode 3 of Mario Party Origins where we take a look at the final N64 title, Mario Party 3. See you guys then. Later, folks.